what's going on guys i'm venom 2 million and in about four weeks you have this thing happening called e3 this wonderful electronic expo and it's going to be this wonderful combination of gaming in which all of these publishers and developers come together and say here world here's our new products for you to buy buy them this year is a little bit different because we have two new publishers entering the press conference arena starting with Bethesda, this big conglomerate of a company that produces RPGs, best known for the works of Skyrim, the Elder Scrolls series, and Skyrim's a part of the Elder Scrolls series, just for some clarification right there. All right. And Fallout! Yes, they are the ones, the creators and publishers of the Fallout franchise. Then you got Square Enix. This wonderful conglomerate of a company! This company that produces the works like Final Fantasy. I said Final, I put a T at the end of Final? What? Final Fantasy! And the wonderful and glamorous franchise that is near and dear to my heart! Kingdom Hearts. These two publishers have now entered this field. Now, this could mean something. I'm referring to Sony, Nintendo, and Microsoft. I'm saying this because Square Enix, Electronic Arts, Ubisoft, and Bethesda are very big publishers. They have a lot of high quality and well-known games under their belts. At the Sony and Microsoft press conference, I'm gonna exclude Nintendo because Nintendo is pretty much first party. But at the Sony and Microsoft press conferences, it's usually a blend of first party and third party games. First party being the games that are made by the studios that these companies own. Third party being the games made by other studios and, and published by other publishers. Now, Electronic Arts, Ubisoft, they've had press conferences for years already, you know, years prior. And that really hasn't hurt Sony or Microsoft's press conferences. But now we have two new publishers entering this press conference space. Again, I understand that Square Enix and Bethesda, their games are not prominently shown at most of the E3 press conferences when referring to Sony and Microsoft, but some of their games are shown. For, for instance, for example, Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts 3 was shown at the Sony press conference. I personally don't think that Square Enix would like to have Kingdom Hearts be shown at the Sony press conference and not be shown at their own press conference, especially when this is their first press conference. Same thing with Bethesda. Bethesda, they have a very, 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 very sought out game called Fallout 4. And if they are to announce that game this year, are they more likely to announce it at an Xbox conference or at their own press conference? So what I'm getting to is, I think that this year, these press conferences, at least with Sony and Microsoft, they're going to have to be very first party eccentric. They're going to be very, very close to the home, very exclusive based, which I think is a great thing. We're gonna see a lot of games that are exclusive for these platforms and have exclusive content coming to these platforms. The variety of games will be there and there will be some third party games sprinkled in there. But I think with Square Enix and Bethesda getting their own press conference, that may trim a bit of the fat from Microsoft and Sony. And I'm not saying that Microsoft and Sony don't have a plan or, or that they didn't know that Square Enix and Bethesda were gonna have their own press conference because they clearly did. I'm just saying that for us as the audience, for us as consumers, this could kind of benefit us in a way. We could actually get an E3 press conference, get press conferences that focus on exclusive content for the platforms, which is excellent. I am proud, I'm happy, and I'm excited. I'm so excited to see these press conferences starting with Bethesda on June 14th, Sunday. I'm not even a big Fallout guy. I've, I've never really play it the series i've dabbled in it a little bit and uh, it wasn't really my cup of tea but i will be looking i will be watching and uh oh, microsoft better do it better do it real ubisoft better do it better do it real electronic arts better do it better do it real sony don't have no boring press conference dog you've been having these boring press conferences stop it okay stop it 
please. You need to be better than Microsoft's press conference, Sony. I'm a PlayStation fanboy all day. Get at me. No, I'm playing. Sony sucks. I'm all about the PC master race. No, I'm joking. My PC can't even run spades on the internet flash. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm joking. I'm about the mobile games. I like Zanga. I like to play the Candy Crush. No, I'm playing. I don't play no video games. I go outside and I play sticks and stones with my pet brick. What the hell just happened? <laughs> I want to thank you all for watching. I really want to thank you. What do you guys think about that? What do you guys think about this E3, this year's E3 being first party based, being more exclusive based? What do you guys think about that? Does that make you go, yeah, does that make you go, uh, does, do you think that we're going to see Kingdom Hearts at the Sony press conference? And I'm not saying we won't see it at Sony press conference because they could still dabble with things. So for instance, the Bethesda press conference could show some, uh, some part of, of Fallout or something like that. And say if they introduce multiplayer, they could show, you know, single player Fallout gameplay. And then at the Xbox press conference, show multiplayer, something like that. Same thing with Kingdom Hearts 3. Perhaps at the Sony press conference, they're going to show that Kingdom Hearts 3 single player. And then at the Square Enix press conference, it's announced, we have multiplayer. Here goes gameplay and release date. Da, ha, hoo, he. You know, like, what if, you know, something like that. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let's have that conversation down there. If you want to know what I think is going to happen specifically in these press conferences, description down there. Description. You can see the video in which I talk about what's going to happen happen in a press conference in a specific press conference i don't know which one is going to be probably going to be uh uh the microsoft one i'm not going to do the the uh publisher press conference i'm just going to do microsoft and sony sorry nintendo guys but yeah if you want to see what i think is going to happen in the xbox press conference description down there is where that video will be if it's up if it's not up then subscribe that way you'll know when it goes up video game videos on my channel yes Spider-Man videos on my channel, yes. Superhero movie stuff on my channel, yes. Vent up 2 million. 2 million things, one home, yes. I want to thank you all for watching. Join the 2 million movement by hitting that subscribe button. Going to my social networks and following me. That's the Instagrams. That's the Twitters. And liking me on the Facebooks. Yes, yes. As always, I thank you guys for watching. Share this video around with all of your friends. Hit that like button if you like the video. It takes a second, if even that long. If you didn't like the video, hit that dislike button. Subscribe. Comment. Let's have a conversation in that comment section below talking about E3. What games are you most looking forward to? Do you think that this is going to happen? Is this a good thing? Yes, no, maybe so. I thank you all for watching, though. I am Venom2 Million saying peace out. See you guys in the next video. See ya. Peace. Venom2 Million.